Right, it's June, it's wet, it's windy. What else is there to do? Well, today we're going to look at programming up a DX18 to run with this Durafly Cessna 310 Twin, which comes with its motors paired together. So our first job is to split them up and then connect them to the receiver like this. You'll see that we're using uh, the gear there for the left motor. That's the input channel configuration. And now the important job is to set inhibiting of the switches because we don't want any operation or inadvertent operation of these switches to flip an aileron or start up the left hand motor. The other thing we're going to look at is creating a flap system using the ailerons. Now normally I wouldn't recommend this because using the ailerons has a tendency to tip stall but on this model it's so small and so cheap and just doesn't seem to worry about it. It works perfectly okay. So that's the mixing menu and that's how we get to all the different values. I've previously given you the uh, values of the mix. Before I bind to a model, I always like to look at this monitor panel because it shows me what's going on and it's clear to me that when I connect this up, neither of the two motors is going to start, which is good. Or actually they won't even arm themselves, but that's good. Here we go. Here's the rudder. And if you look in the background, you can see the props responding to the rudder input. Ah, slight delay there, but that's good. Okay, here's the flap. The ailerons go down, and you can see the elevator coming up just a little bit to compensate. Here's some ground handling, and as you can see, they're pretty tight circles. So I'm really hoping that's going to be good when it gets out in the field. So DX18 programming, that's a job done.